year we are charting the path to Nakuru's circular economy through waste management. But just to set the stage for this, Nakuru County has been lauded for initiatives to properly manage waste, enhance sanitation, and also at the same time provide alternative clean solutions. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Nawaskol. Now, Nawaskol is a project from the county which is turning human waste within Nakuru City into briquettes that are used as alternative sources for charcoal. Here's Edward Chwea with Made in Kenya. On the shores of Lake Nakuru, waste exhausters are driving in at intervals. They are here to empty fecal sludge collected from homesteads in Nakuru County. This is the collection point for Nawaskol, a subsidiary of the Nakuru Water and Sanitation Company, who use the sludge to make briquettes. We are doing this through circular economy approach, whereby we are transforming these uh, fecal waste into products. Uh, in this case, we are making uh, briquettes. This is an alternative to the ordinary charcoal. It can be used at domestic level. We also make uh, what we call seed balls. This is uh, whereby we get the seeds of uh, indigenous trees. We carefully coat it with treated uh, fecal sludge. Uh, those are good for afforestation and reforestation. The process starts with collection from homesteads in Nakuru County through a partnership with private service providers. At the plant, the sludge is dried for a number of days. We do what we call the watering process. This is removal of excess water. After drying, we take it through a pyrolysis process or carbonization process. This is where we heat it at very high temperatures, about 450 degrees. This eliminates the pathogens, the harm bacteria, and also increases carbon concentration. We combine this sludge, carbonized sludge, with other biomass like avocado waste. Then we have uh, properly bladed materials. And then we use molasses as a binding agent. We use an extruder that has this shape, giving this shape. We also make crowd shape briquettes for different applications. We bring it out here for drying. It will take like uh, two to three days. The briquettes not only burn longer than charcoal, but also have zero emissions that are harmful to the environment. Before this project, you would find people <coughs> dumping or rather discharging fecal sludge into open drainage, uh, contaminating water and what have you. So we managed to work with those groups, uh, supported them. We, bi we built their capacity. They are now able to operate in a formal way. So the revenue generated is also helping the county to scale up the issue of sanitation. The county government is engaging in public-private partnerships to help manage the waste generated in the county. So you need everybody to come in, whether you are investing in different kind of uh, waste stream, we are all welcome and uh, we believe if you are able to partner like the way we are partnering with the KCIC in terms of coming up with uh, like reviewing our legal framework to, to fit the daily needs, at the same time, we are also incorporating and creating job opportunities for our people. In Akuru County, we are implementing the SWIFT program, uh, which is the Sustainable Waste Innovation for a Future in Transition program. It supports entrepreneurs with business incubation and acceleration support. Uh, what is needed, actually, for businesses in the circular economy space to be able to commercialize. Nakuru continues to be the model county in proper waste management with initiatives like Nawaskol not only providing clean energy solutions but also safely managing sanitation and at the same time generating revenue. Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.